Hey everybody, Mr. McIntosh here. In tonight's video, we're gonna talk about the security update 2020-006 for Mojave and High Sierra plus Safari 1401. I'm a little bit behind in these updates because of Big Sur and Apple Silicon, but we still needed to talk about these because there's some big changes on how the security updates are installed, the order of business, and we've got some problems with the Safari 14.0.1 update. If you use Safari to upload or attach any files, you're gonna to stay tuned to see what the issues are. Let's jump in and get started. The security update 2020-006 for Mojave and High Sierra was released over two weeks ago. But again, during that time, Big Sur and Apple Silicon hit, so I had a lot of work to do to get all that information out to you guys so you had everything you needed to know. But now that got that information out, we can finally circle back a little bit and get back to some of the updates that I missed. And one of the most important ones was this security update because a lot of things happened. It wasn't a normal security update. We have a different install process and we've got issues with Safari. So let's jump right in and talk about the security update first and then we'll get to Safari. So first with the security update we need to talk about the previous 2020-005 security update that caused a bunch of issues for users. I'll put a link to my previous video there if you were interested in what happened and what went down and you can read the articles that I posted here that kind of go over the entire process of what went down during that issue. The bottom line is is that when you install the security update and the Safari 14.0 update together it caused some serious problems with Mojave 10.14.6 and the only way to fix that was to reinstall the base version of Mojave 10.14.6 over the top of the previous one and then install the security updates again so again it was a huge problem and I covered that whole thing if you again if you wanted to go over let's that let's talk about the install process for the 2020-006 security update here. I tested this pretty heavily because of all the problems with the 005 security update. A bunch of you guys reached out to me and said, hey, listen, have you tested the 2020-006 security update after all the problems that we had with the 005 update? The bottom line is I did, but I didn't I wasn't able to get all the information together into this article until now. Now that I have, I can share it with you. And the good news is, is that all the processes that I went over, they work. We don't have any issues. Again, you know, minus Safari, Safari, and I'll get to that later. But let's start in. If you have a base install, let's say you did a fresh install of Mojave 10.14.6, you're going to be at 18G103. So you're thinking, hey, I've installed security updates in the past. I'll just you know, run software update and I'll see 2020-006. Nope. Here's what you're going to see. And I got a picture of this so you guys can see what's going to happen here. You're not going to see 006. You're going to see 005. And you're going to see this the Mac OS supplemental update and Safari 1401. So you're thinking, what the heck's going on here? Let me explain. First, you have to install 2020-005 first. Once that's installed, then you'll see the 2020-006, and I don't know why Apple has, has done this. There's got to be some sort of dependency, or it was because of all the problems with 005 that you have to install 005 first, then install the supplemental update, which is Safari 14.0, then install 14.01 over the top of that. That's in the install process, and I got that here. The order of install is, number one, the supplemental update. That installs 14.0 first. Number two is the Safari 14.01 update. Then number three is the 2020-005. Are, are you following along yet? I mean, is this confusing to you or not? That's why I try to go over these things to, to help you guys kind of understand what the heck is going on here. If you open the 2020-006 security update, and I did, and I looked at the build manifest, it only will install again on 005. That's it. So if you have anything less than that, it just straight up won't even install. So now you know that this is the order of install if you have anything less than 2020-005 installed on your Mac. So now that we've got that covered, well, wait a minute. Wonder if you have a Mac that has 2020-005 on it. If you've got that, you will probably see this picture. And that's going to be 2020-006, and that's it, because you've already installed 1401, and you've already installed 2020-005. 
So that's all you're going to see. You might see this with 1401 Safari if you didn't install it before. Let's say you only installed the 005 in the supplemental update, so you're at Safari 14.0. This is what you're going to see. So you're going to see those two updates in here. And now we need to get to the important information. If you install those two just like that, you're going to be fine. And I put that in the order install right here that you're going to be fine. No issues. But that's why we got to jump right into the Safari 1401 issues. If you use Safari on a daily basis to upload or attach files to basically anything. And I'll give you an example. Let's just say you use Gmail in Safari only. And this is what you do all the time. And you try to attach a file to an email. It just straight up doesn't work. And, and let's say let's say this button, this close button is the attach. You just click on it, nothing happens. You can click on it all day, nothing happens. The attachment window to attach a file will never open. And this is a bug in 14.01. And you guys have reached out to me and you've asked me about this and I've confirmed it. This is a real problem and it's not gonna be fixed until 14.02 comes out. So if this is critical for you, it is important that you hold off on this update and I'll test it when it comes, when 1402 comes out, I'll test it to make sure that it works and I'll let you guys know beforehand and I'll make sure the order install works and everything's good before you guys install this. But again, that's why you waited, right? You didn't want to install this because you thought, well, wait a minute, I don't want to have something happen again. And here we are all over again with another issue. Now you might think, okay, that's not that big of an issue. And it might not be to, to some people. If you don't really use, if you're not attaching things to websites, e uh, email, or anything like that, you might be fine. But you would be surprised to see how many different things use the attach feature. Just attaching a PDF to a SharePoint, any of these things are just not gonna function on 14.01. And again, I'm sorry that I wasn't able to get this information out because I've already heard from a couple of you guys that said, hey, listen, I've installed this and this is a problem. So I wish I would have gotten this information out to you guys before you made the jump, but at least I can get this out to you now. So maybe we can, can prevent anybody else from installing this and having some issues here. here. There's no current workaround other than that you'll have to use Firefox or you'll have to use Chrome. And again, that's not that bad of a workaround, right? If you don't use those browsers, you just you can just install them and use those to do that. There's a lot of people that rely on Safari solely. For It doesn't matter if you're in the enterprise, you're in a production environment, or whatever kind of application or thing that you're using is critical to use Safari. Then you're, you're stuck, right? Now, there's very few workarounds that you can do if you require Safari for whatever website you need, you're going to have to downgrade to fix this. And I've gone over this in the previous 2020-005 update to fix those people. You basically have to create a bootable installer of Mojave, boot to it, and install it over the top of your current Mojave install. And that'll bring you back down to 18G103 right here. Then you can install the 2020-005 security update, and then you can install the Mac OS supplemental update, which is 14.0 Safari, and you'll be fine. That's a workaround if you require Safari right now, and you can't use uh, Chrome or Firefox for whatever reason, right? So at least we got a couple workarounds for you. If you already did install this and you're kind of having it. Now that we got those install issues out of the way, let's jump right into some of the, the statistics here of the update here. We do have a downloadable package available from Apple's download site, and I've got a link here to that download so you can deploy this or run this manually if you wanted to. And again, the package installer still has the dependencies of 2020-005. So if you have anything lower, it will tell you, the package installer will say it cannot install on this update. And it won't even tell you why. It'll just say it doesn't meet the requirements. Once you get to 2020-005, you will be able to install the package installer and it's 1.22 gigabytes, so it's pretty small in size. And same thing with the High Sierra update. The High Sierra update is the same thing. If you don't have the 2020-005 security update for High Sierra, and if you think about it, that's bizarre because High Sierra didn't have the same issues that Mojave did. So if you wanted to say, well, okay, Apple did this, they put the dependencies in the 005 because of the previous issues then why didn't they make High Sierra able to make the jump 
from the base install all the way up to 2020-006, like they've always done. Apple has always made the security updates like a combo update where you can just install the base version of the operating system and then install the latest security update and it covers all the previous fixes. So again, it's really weird why Apple would do this. I'm not sure why. I don't know if they're going to be able to sneak in another security update. We're getting late. We only got a, a month left. They might. So that would be 2020-007. And maybe they will build in all the previous updates so you don't have any more dependencies like this. And hopefully they do because this makes it really confusing for users and it takes a long time to install two security updates just to get up to date with the latest version. So we'll have to see what happens and I'll let you know when the next one comes out what the deal is with that. So we've got the Safari update here. I've got that in there, uh, 69.1 megabytes for the 1401 update. Now keep in mind, High Sierra doesn't get 1401. We're done. Send High Sierra off into retirement. This is the final security update it's going to get. It's no longer supported by Apple. Apple now supports only the previous two operating systems, which is Catalina and now Mojave. Again, Hi Sierra, you've been great. We'll, we'll give you your gold watch. Congratulations on your retirement. Hopefully you can move to Florida and enjoy your retirement. So the bridge update, it, the bridge update is 17.16. 16,610 and I put the three security fixes that were included just for the 2020-006 security update in here and I usually what I'll do is it comes with a big list on Apple security page but I'll only put the ones that were for Mojave and High Sierra and I put the ones for Catalina in my other article that was the supplemental update. So that's it guys that's the 2020-006 security update and Safari 14.01. I hope this video created value for you. If it did consider liking the video and subscribing if you want to see more videos like this in the future. If you're already a subscriber, thank you very much and we'll catch you in the next video. Thank you.